guys, Joshua here from TechNiv.com and today I'll be testing out the IP68 water resistance of the Samsung Galaxy S7H. So the question is, can it survive? First of all, I went to the market and bought myself a pack of milk and fed it to the S7H. You may ask why, but who knows? Maybe you will drop your phone into your milk one day. I set the alarm for 30 minutes and went to watch my favorite TV series, The Walking Dead. Everyone stays ready for a fight. 30 minutes are over and I took the S7H out of the container and without a doubt, it is still working perfectly. Later that day, it starts to rain super heavily and I decided to leave the S7H out there until the rain stops. Roughly about 45 minutes. Once again, I did not notice any malfunctions or whatsoever. So I decided to bring the S7H to the water park with me to test out the camera. And here are some footage that I recorded with the S7H and I must say it is very good. But the only major issue I had when I was testing out the camera was the touch screen. When the water touches the screen, it will navigate to another page like the home screen or multitask screen. And you will not be able to use the screen when you are in the water. The only solutions that I can come up with is by double tapping the home button to launch the camera and use the volume button to snap a picture or record a video based on your setting. End of the day, I did spend a lot of time in the water with the S7H and it survived. And as for the last test, I went with the frozen test. Fill it up with water and put it in my freezer. Maybe it's because my freezer isn't that cold, so I had to wait for more than 6 hours until the water gets completely frozen. And it's time to see the result. The first thing I did was check if the always on screen is still on. And I tried to give her a call. Everything seems to be working fine. After I gave it to get the phone out, play with it for a while, and what can I say? It survived again. Do keep in mind is that you will not able to charge your phone or use the headphone jack straight out of the water. You will need to let it dry for an hour or more until the moisture is all gone, then your phone will be back to normal. So there you have it. Thank you guys for watching and let me know if you want to see more tests like this and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.